Hello paddlers, <coughs> excuse me, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's been nine months, nine months since I got the Pakiak. So I thought I'd uh, do like an update and uh, show you all the uh, things I've changed and accessories I've added and uh, tell you what I think about the boat after using it for nine months. Can't believe it's been nine months that I've gone quick. I still remember and I made a video of actually dragging it up the stairs that nearly killed me, the box. I can't believe that was nine months ago. Well, as my brother would say, hey ho. Right then, so let's start with taking a look at the boat. I'll show you how uh, all the upgrades I've done, you'd have seen a lot of them, but there's one or two more that I've uh, added to the boat. And uh, yeah, then uh, I'll tell you how I feel now after nine months of paddling. Uh, if I've changed my mind, if I wish I hadn't bought it, or what. Okay then, let's take a look at the boat. Okay then, right. Here she is, all put together, ready to go. No, not quite. <laughs> uh, I have here uh, a quick release camera bracket, which is connected straight onto the boat. Uh, I also have one at the front here. Uh, it's quick release again. I've got a, a mount, it just clips in, locks in place, and when I'm on, I just press the buttons. Okay, right, another little thing I've done, which ain't much, I've just uh, connected, uh, it don't make any difference to the skirt, and it makes, I've got loads of room inside, uh, it just to connect my paddle leash onto, just to make life a bit easier. Uh, this is not important, but I've just had uh, some paracord to the end of the foot rests, and that way when I need to get them out, it's uh, quick and simple. Okay, here, on both sides, right, and over there, right, I put some, uh, oh god, I forgot the name of them. What are they called? My brain's just, my brain's gone blank. Bloody hell, whatever. Hooks, but they're not hooks. Right, it's simply, right, they're bolted in, right, four bolts and a load of uh, water, what, yeah, silicon waterproof gel underneath, right, and under the plate just to make sure it's all, all four holes are completely waterproof. And all it is, it's for tying my boat onto, if I need to tie my boat up when I'm next to something, and as I say, there's one at the other side. There. Right. I've mentioned this in other videos, but just in case nobody uh, saw them, I have actual uh, thigh braces on here, right? Which, on both sides, which are actually bolted. If you can see that, bolted, right? onto the boat and they stay there permanently now and they are brilliant they're a definite must you can get some from Pakiak right but they literally they just velcro on and then you have to take them off each time and stuff and they're pretty useless to be honest pretty useless right I would definitely say get these thigh braces Right. I haven't put them in yet, but I also have hip pads down here on both sides, obviously, which lock me in nice and tight. I upgraded, upgraded the seat, upgraded the backrest. I put these on just little clips, right, for the simple reason when I'm stacking the boat away, all right, it's just quicker just to take take them off you get me just just a little bit faster to take them on and off so it's no big deal all right so yeah and uh that it's all my upgrades all right this here all right 
which it's to actually protect the clamps from when you're stacking it in the boat uh, it was getting in my road so I've literally taped it down uh, over here there's some almost like sandpaper right uh, double sided that I've stuck down just for gripping okay and on the back of all the boats all the boats all the sections I've got uh, skid tape right for if I have to move it across any rocks as when I'm pulling it up and like I said I've got it on the underneath of all sections so they're all actually done yeah so that's it basically they're all me upgrades I've done the hip pads the thigh braces change the seat right the seat that it comes with not that great to be honest okay but you know I mean that's still the seat that it come with but I put uh, an extra seat padding and stuff like that right uh, if you're interested right so I don't want to start leaving links to every single thing if there's anything you see and you think oh I want mine that myself for mine let us know in the comments and I will tell you exactly where I got them from and everything oh while well, I remember there was one more update uh, if I go down I put a paddle holder there Right. simply for when I'm sat in the boat with my legs out relaxing lounging about I can just clip paddle at the side of me and uh, it's not in my road when I'm getting coffee or whatever yeah you, you know what one name's for right but it gets it out the road and yeah so that that is everything oh in case you're wondering because i know bobby asked right so you never know somebody else might be interested if i show you this what do you clean your boat with george well i use something you might not even think of hope that's in focus yeah it's kings all right and it's waterless all right so you don't need any water all right and uh, it's a wash it's a wash and wax so you spray it on wipe it off with a, a cloth right leave it a minute or three then get a like a microfiber cloth and give it a good polish right and it really does bring your boat up nice and shiny i don't know if it's going to show up in this light or whatever but uh, it really does I wonder if that will because the light is on that don't know if the light is in the right place but it really does uh, bring your boat up nice and shiny and at the same time it leaves a light coating of wax on your boat so it helps cut through the water better so that's what I use anyway uh, yeah that's me boats all the updates and stuff so let's just go sit back down and see if there's that also remember to tell you right then there you go so you've seen me upgrades and everything so what do i think now after nine months well to be quite honest i loved this boat about six years ago <laughs> and i still love it now when i first saw it and was getting information about it and everything i i thought that is brilliant and i'll tell you what i still love it now uh, it it's it's just so amazing and convenient the way it goes into the backpack the back can't get my words out the travel bag the back pack on wheels where you can literally just drag it about anywhere which is a good thing because the downside i find it no as i said i find it i'm getting on a bit i find it quite heavy so to actually carry the boat all right 
Could I do it? Yes, but I'd probably hurt myself, to be quite honest. It's extremely heavy. Two people, easy. But I've got a decent trolley, so no problems there. If I need to move it about or whatever, just put it on the trolley. And the trolley comes apart, and I just put the trolley in the back of the hatch of the boat. When I've finished, take it out the hatch, just straight, straight back to the car. So it, it's not a problem. The weight isn't a problem. The way it would only become a problem is if I was in a situation on the river or wherever and I was in the water and I couldn't get back in the boat and I had to drag myself and the boat onto land. Then because of the way it could be an issue. But I don't see that happening to be quite honest. I really don't see that happening. What can I say about it? Well, if you're a subscriber, you already know how well it paddles. It it holds its course, right, extremely well. If you're paddling fast and then you stop paddling, it holds its course. It doesn't have a skeg, right? You can connect a rudder. If you're going in the sea, you'd want a rudder, right? And there is a section all ready to have a rudder fitted. Uh, but it doesn't have a skegger out like that in case you wondered. Uh, but the back of the boat itself, I'll put a couple of photographs up actually. The back of the boat itself almost works like a skeg because it narrows right down and the way it sits in the water, hopefully you can see. Uh, the way it sits in the water, it, the back of the boat, like I said, almost works well, like a skeg in itself, right? To keep the boat uh, heading true, going straight. So that's that's all great, right? That that's all great, and the performance of it is fantastic. You can have a nice slow, steady paddle, obviously, but if you need the power and if you want to really push it. You really, really can. I've only really pushed it once or twice. You get me? So I usually paddle at between three and four miles an hour, just relaxing. I have taken it up to, I believe it was just under seven miles an hour, or was it just over seven? I can't remember now. Right, but it it does fly. It you can really get the boat going if you want to. Right. There's nothing bad I can actually say about it, apart from that weight section. Now, would I still buy it now? Or am I glad I bought it back then? Well, the answer to that is no. I wish I hadn't bought it, because two months later, they brought out an identical boat, Plakiak, identical it is to man, but it's about £20 lighter, and £20 would have made all the difference. You get me? It would have made all the difference to me, £20 lighter. Uh, then I would have had zero complaints. But, uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, they didn't tell me they were bringing out a new boat. But perhaps they didn't know the exact date of when it was going to be released so they didn't tell any new customers as in well if you wait a couple of months we're bringing out a new one it's 20 pound lighter right so and i don't believe they would keep quiet just to get rid of old stock because pakiak as a company and their customer service is fantastic so i really don't believe they would do that so if you've got any worries about buying a pack of yak, if you're worried about problems, their customer service is really, really good. But yeah, so after nine months, I'm extremely happy. There's not a great deal, I can tell you. I mean, let, let's be honest, it's a kayak. Have I had any major problems? No. Well, I did have that one problem. Right, the back of the boat was leaking. Right, pack of yak was fantastic. We had a few emails backwards and forwards. I had to send them a, a few, couple of videos to show them the water and stuff because they're on the other side of the world. It's not as if I could just take the boat in. And uh, they just sent me brand new 
back in half a boat. They just sent me half a boat, no problem. So I've never heard of it before. They've never heard of it before, right? Nobody mentioned it right, like that in the owner's group. And I believe it was just one of them, one in a million manufacturing as it's been molded. It's just one of them things, things happen, right? You don't mind when things go wrong. You don't mind if things are bad, as long as the company are great about solving the problem and Pakiak was. As I said, there was a bit of back and forth, right? But then they said, yeah, fair enough. You've tried everything for us. Here you go, and they just sent us, like I said, half a boat. <laughs> that, that, that's the advantage with a Pakiak as well. If something, let's say, I don't know, some absolute crazy happens and a speedboat hits me and breaks the front of my boat. All I have to do is buy a front piece. I don't have to go out and buy a full brand new boat. You get me? So, because it breaks up into six parts, which leads me on to transportation. Brilliant for transportation. It goes in its little backpack with the wheels, drag it along anywhere. Uh, I also invested in the all terrain wheels, which are these real big ones, which basically clip onto the bag. Basically, clip onto the bag, and then you can drag it basically over anything because they're all terrain wheels. All right, so you can take the boat anywhere and everywhere. Fits into the back of the car, no problem. And saying about weight, in case somebody says, oh, but if it's heavy. When the boat is fully put together, picking it up, you've got like a balancing act so the weight isn't level. You, you know what I mean? If you pick that end up, that side's going down like that. You know what I mean? So it feels heavier. All right. But when it's all in its backpack, all the weight is in one place. So when you're lifting it into the car, it's reasonably easy. Uh, all I do is just lean it next to the car, lift it up from the bottom and just slide it in. No problem. So transportation uh, is fantastic. Uh, basically, that's it. There's, I'm, I'm completely happy with the boat. You've seen all the alterations I've done. I told you which isn't part of the boat. Well, it is part of the boat, but it isn't as you buy the boat. The hip braces and the thigh braces that you can get from Pakiak, you're better off doing some sort of upgrade like I have because them pieces of foam that you just Velcro in, the work, the work, right? But... There you go, Ken Whiting summed it up, right, from Paddle TV. When you're in a boat that you're slipping about in, it's like being in an old slipper. It's comfortable, but your foot could slide out. Now, in a kayak, you want to be sitting in, like, a nice, comfy pair of trainers that's fastened on tight to your foot, so they're not going to fall out when you're running fast. In other words, you want to be locked into the boat. The boat wants to become part of you. Right? If you're planning on going faster and edging, right? lots of different things, basically. Like being in the sea, right? the waves start coming. You don't want to be sliding about in your chair when waves are hitting you. You want to be locked into that boat and controlling the boat with your hips and things like that. So I would definitely upgrade to some sort of system the way I have with the hip pads and the thigh braces. But that's a choice. Like I say, the ones packing XL, these foam things, you just stick them on with Velcro. They're fine, they work. They do work, don't get me wrong, they work. Right? And if you're just planning on, well, not even, I would still upgrade, I, I'd upgrade. Right, spend a bit of money, take a bit of time, you know what I mean? It's not that difficult to uh, put stuff on as long as you take your time, take your measurements. Measure, as an old saying, measure twice, cut once. Well, when you're drilling holes into a boat, I'd measure three or four times before you put that drill in there. <laughs>
I know I did. I must have measured about four times just to make a hundred percent certain I knew where my, the, where I was about to drill. But yeah, so am I happy with the boat? Yes. Am I still glad I bought it? Yes, even though I would have waited another two months if I'd have known about the release of the later ones. So if you're planning on getting one, it's perfect for you now. You get you get the super light one because they're not actually making the heavier ones anymore. They're just switching over. So maybe I ended up getting one of the last batches of the heavier ones. I suppose at the same time though, because it's heavier, because of the extra plastic and stuff, which also, I, I could be wrong here, I'm just guessing, in theory then, would make it a bit stronger, because to lose £20 off the boat, that unless they've changed the material, to me they'd have to make the boat thinner in parts, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I don't know the manufacturing process about it. But you, you still get the huge warranty and guarantees and stuff like that. So I reckon they've just changed the material of the boat, which makes it lighter. But yeah, so have I got any complaints? I haven't. I haven't really got any complaints. I've mentioned the weight, but, but I haven't got any complaints about the boat. I re really do love it. I really do. Yeah. When I go out, nice paddle and stuff feel secure in it in case anyone is wondering right because uh pakiak say anyone can paddle this even a complete beginner i'd say no to that i'd disagree with that this is not a boat for a complete brand new paddler a novice paddler who's been paddling a while yes right novice yes if you've been in kayaks, you've got an idea about what a kayak does and how to sit, yeah. But a brand new paddler will be tipping constantly, right, until they get used to it. Granted, you're going to get used to it. You could get away with it, right. You might get in it, use your brain, think, right, I know I have to sit still. I don't want to be grabbing and waving about... You sit still, you paddle slowly until you feel more confident and you build up your skill level and you take your time. Yes, but I would say this is more of a, not brand new, more of a novice up, as in you've had a go. Right, because it's very, it's only about 25 inches wide, which is much. Right, uh, 25 inches is not much. Right, uh, this is not a wide boat, and that that's the actual boat, 25 inches wide. The seating area drops to about 18, 16. So I can't remember off the top of my head now. I think it's about 18. I can't remember. Uh, this part of the cockpit is wider because that's the bit that's going to stack on top of the last but one section, so it's wider. But that don't really matter. So yeah, so who's it for? Anybody, I suppose, but I'd recommend somebody who's already been paddling a little bit and got an idea. Uh, okay then, yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you've got any questions whatsoever, right, just leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer anything, just in case I haven't covered. Uh, uh, there's links in the description already, actually, to the Pakiak, right, but I'm sure you can find it. It's not affiliate link, so I don't like that. You know what I mean? I've got no connection. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so... Any questions whatsoever, there you go. Just leave us a comment. And uh, I can't think of anything else to tell you because no, there's no sort of like issues to report. Okay then, I'm going to leave it there and uh, simply say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this nine month update. And uh, maybe I'll get to do a nine year update. <laughs> Okay then paddlers, catch you later. Cheers.